Is anyone in the White House hiding information about the president's health or his ability to do the job day to day? Absolutely not. Given the fact that it's more than a bad night when his political future is threatened, would he be willing to provide more medical information? Would he be willing to have Dr. O'Connor provide more to answer these questions? It, look, Kelly O, certainly uh, understand the question, appreciate the question, but what we have provided has been very transparent. But it's has not been recent. has and been the country watch. But February February was this year. It wasn't too long ago. It was indeed this year. And we were we were we provided transparent uh, report, a you thorough report. For many Americans who were concerned about his capacity, was he okay? What happened? <laughs> and we've now gone several days where he has only done teleprompter comments. Okay. He has not taken questions. I know you've announced a press conference. Yeah. We appreciate that. <laughs> An interview. We appreciate that. Yeah. But there is a period of time here where yeah. the public is trying to understand what happened. Yeah. And the president could help to answer that yeah. by engaging with us in an unscripted way right now. So let me just say a couple of things. There's a couple of things that you said that I do want to address. Um, number one, hours, I don't know, less than an hour after the debate, he went and he engaged directly with the American people, right? He went to a watch party. He was in a room with hundreds of supporters who watched the debate. And when he walked in, they cheered him on. And he did a photo line with them for some time. Some, some of your colleagues had an opportunity to speak uh, to these supporters. He did that. And that was something that he was able to, that he was able to do right after. And then we stopped at a Waffle House, as some of you all know, and spoke to a, a full, a packed, a packed restaurant. So he spent some time there. Then the next day, he went to North Carolina, spoke in front of hundreds of supporters there, who said, we support you, Joe. We love you, Joe. And so he was able to do that. In those two and a half days or so after the debate, he went to four states and engage with supporters, engage with American people, everyday people, heard directly from them. Uh, and let's not forget, when we landed in North Carolina, I think it was like 2 a.m. in the morning, he engaged with supporters there as well. So the president has been out there. He's been listening to supporters. It's something that he loves to do, not just supporters, but American people out there, uh, everyday people who appreciate what he does, who wants to hear more from him, as you just stated, and got that opportunity to do just that. I think it matters that he's going to do an interview on Friday. I think it matters that he's going to go to Wisconsin and do that, right? Engage with uh, everyday people. We're going to continue to do that. Nothing has changed in that regard. We're going to continue to be out there. He's going to be in Pennsylvania as well this weekend, as I just stated. And one more. Uh, we're reporting that Hunter Biden has been in some meetings with senior advisors. Why is the president's son involved? So a couple of things I do. Uh, I saw that reporting as I was coming out. So a couple of things there. Look, the president, as you know, is very close to his family. This is a holiday week, 4th of July. He spent time with his family, as you all know and reported, at Camp David. Uh, Hunter came back with him and walked with him into, uh, into, um, into that meeting, that prep, that speech prep. Uh, and, you know, and he ended up spending time with his dad and his family uh, that night. That is basically what happened. It is a week where there's going to be more family members who are going to come uh, to the to the White House. I'm sure you'll see some of them on Fourth of July. Many more are expected to be here. No issue with family yeah. being in the White House. The question, though, would yeah. be: Is he participating in meetings with senior advisors? What I can say is that he came back with his dad from Camp David. He walked him into. Uh, the speech prep, and he was in the room. That I can tell you, he was in the room. Uh, anything else coming out of that reporting, I can't speak to, but I can say that, you know, he's close to his family, which is not unusual. They were together at Camp David. They came back together. You're going to see a lot more family uh, this week. Okay. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.